so let's go. Eh, we'll pass the door. Check things out with our pal. So still have to find the blue desk lamp, I think it was. So we'll uh, just start looking a bit everywhere, make sure we haven't missed anything. I assume there are only a few places where uh, items like that will spawn. open it I wonder why it reclosed it was the one where we found a mistake I didn't know they relocked themselves oh well uh, nothing here my characters he's got two, he's got two so I can give it to I'll give it to her yeah protects from burning that's useful no desk lamp yet Check everywhere. I also, I assume it will be fairly obvious when I find it, but I have no idea what it would look like. if it can be in in this cafe I'll go check probably not It's obviously static, but eh, I think it looks nice. Ooh. Maybe it's 
Gun. Oh yeah, that increases quite a bit. You can see here at the weapon. Oh. Why is this not the desk lamp I need? I assume that's what we're looking for now. So at least we know what it looks like. I was expecting a more bright blue person. But nothing there. Oh, it's such a good thing you can walk right through your companions. Get stuck everywhere otherwise. Hey you. Yes, yes, yes. No blue desk light though. Anywhere, everywhere already now. We've not been here. This is empty. We have to have Paul have a chat with that robot there. Nothing here. Hmm. I must have missed a place. Unless I just have to tell him where it is instead of picking it up. Let's go talk to the robot. Uh, I guess not. Ah, damn it. Hmm. Hope it's not broken. Hey, you there. Greetings, little bee bot. Mm-hmm. Ooh. I'd like to interface with a bee bot. Sure. Let's interface. ramps over 45 degrees. That was fantastic. I can't believe how much science you know. My circuits are tingling. Yeah, he learned all of that in the science museum. We should interface again sometime. We should definitely do that. You wouldn't happen to know where uh, blue desk light has uh, gone to. Look. 
pick for a blue death plan. At least now we can vote because we know all of our votes. <laughs> Can't walk here. I do wonder where that lamp can be there. Thought I went everywhere. Why can't I pick this up? it is ha of course the last place you look well at least we've got it now yay I totally have your lamp give me something good ha five bucks is that it? Uh, give me something better. <laughs> A jar of brabula mayonnaise. I'm just quickly going to search this area and then as we make our way back to the council area, we'll keep looking for the mayonnaise. I'm not going to do a ton of these quests. I think they just keep coming. Um, but as I am going through the whole place a couple of times up and down, I might as well uh, make some money while doing it. Just means I have to uh, take a few detours here and there. Hopefully not too bad. Uh, I should be able to tell from here. There's nothing there. Jar of Brebula Mayonnaise. From all we've heard about brebulan cooking, that can't be good. That's going to be it, isn't it? It's green. Ugh. Yeah. I'll get that back right after we vote. Uh, do we have to... Let me just check, we've got everything. So, no one won. No one. One, seven, four, and six. One, seven, four, and six. I don't know if it automatically. Works. To, need to learn four of them because obviously the other ones will be the opposite. So we've got our gold card, which means we can now go talk to the council. Yeah. <laughs> and 
get out of here. Ooh, I can walk. Cool. Uh, here's your jar of mayonnaise. I'm out of here. Yeah. Off we go to the council because we want to get out of here. And they don't want to help us unless we talk to the council and they've got an emergency meeting. Wonder what that's all about. Maybe it's because Puss Cafe will not be the new color, but Vomit Green will be or something. Let's see. Right. Just a quick save before we go in. Aside, we've got a gold card. Yes, we are. Sure, sure, we won't disturb them. <laughs> oh, there's a time minder here. No outworld that could possibly emulate the wisdom of the council. Well, we did. Surely there's been some mistake. Well, if your policy is to tell everybody who wants to hear about it what you voted on, then it's not that hard. Hey, Grumpos. Beyond those doors, the High Council of Democritus faces every decision with will, purpose, and determination. Cool. Eh, yeah, it's alright. <laughs> Whichever um, companion li you leave behind, they will be able to get into the chamber and they'll all have a different little story about what they talked about with the guard. So for uh, Grumpos, it's antique staffs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Uh, they said not to disturb them, but... We've got business to attend to. Is that just possible? No, 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 what we require is swift, decisive action. Someone must fly into the hive and destroy the threat. I don't think rushing headlong into conflict is the best course of action for the people of Democritus, Hal. Best course of action? Would you rather sit back and die? There are 64 cascading concussion missiles headed straight for us. Unless we do something in the next two hours, this entire planet will be rubble. This is obviously my fault. I take complete responsibility for our destruction. Oh, you're all jumping to conclusions. There's no evidence the missiles are even destructive in nature. Evidence? The Verulent Hive has been doing this for hundreds of years. Bomb planet, wait for dust to settle, then recolonize to expand hive. What exactly do you think is inside those warheads? Gift baskets? That's quite enough. No one doubts your passion for the subject, Councilman, but this is a democracy. All voices will be heard equally, and you've dominated this session long enough. Now, who will be heard next? We will. <laughs> I've heard enough. Give us a fighter. We'll take out this hive while you guys bicker about it. Who are these people? Are they serious? Uh, could we talk about this for a second? You want to get off this planet or not? See? Now that's decisiveness. Get this man a fighter. <laughs> that's a woman, Hal. Aren't we all forgetting something? The 228 Sparrow is a state-of-the-art asteroid fighter. It packs everything a talented pilot would need to infiltrate and destroy the hive. Except our hangar security systems are still online. There's no time for a subcommittee to approve the activation. So you'd have to fight past a division of deadly sentry robots just to access the ship. Sir, do I look like I care? Where are the keys? <laughs> I like Ro. This is insanity. Why fight the hive when we can just 
steal the fighter and save ourselves. No kidding. Screw the fighter. Let's grab a warship and fly home in style. No. I'm not gonna sit back and watch another planet be destroyed. Paddington, can't let you do this. Your concern is sweet, pal. And unfortunate because you're coming with us, period. The robots you're about to destroy are my brothers. I won't help you kill them. Period. No. Did he just talk smack to me? <laughs> Has he ever questioned you like that before? Pal, how are you feeling? I'm pretty pissed off, man. Congratulations, Boots. Your robots become self-aware. You're a daddy now. <laughs> Pal, self-aware? Hey, where do you get off? <clears throat> Need I remind everyone of the missiles racing toward the planet? Right. Stay put. But we're having a serious powwow when I get back, mister. Ugh! Punch me! <laughs> So we can't take Pal on this mission. Uh, so what we have to do is breach the Fireland Hive and find a central controlling unit that will stop the missiles. Your guess is as good as mine. Fight through the warship bay and find the prototype fighter you'll need to enter the hive. That was a pretty nice ship that we saw. Uh, in the uh, explanation, so we have to go find it. And uh, not get killed before we get there. Cargo Bay. Right. Ah, look at that. We'll have to fight those if we want to get that hill grease mm, complete or plus. Can't tell really from here. But, uh,. Let's get some fighting practice on. Also, two of our characters, I think, now have a uh, mistake. Yeah, he's got Bane Wave. And she still has the Fire Slag. Which I'll replace as soon as I get uh, something that does poison them. All right, let's uh, go in. Yeah, it's a good start. He can't do anything, but he can do. Uh, let's see how that works. new gun. It's great. Look at that damage. Yeah, we've got a ton of heal grease and to be honest, at this point in the game I'll get three more so we've gained more than we've spent. Um, which is good because I was afraid this battle was going to be uh, kind of useless. 
But heal grease isn't really effective. Like it only heals, I think, a hundred points at a time. And with the yeah, with like a thousand or over a thousand health, it's really like meh. But, uh, where's the control panel? Sometimes they are so well uh, camouflaged or like hidden in the textures. So that was just a detour. I'll go back. So let's go this way. Mm. I don't think you can ever get really lost. Just making sure I'm not missing like things like this. Whole bag, yay! I think it's only just one item, uh, but um, yeah, it's it's one item, but it restores more energy than just one glowed and thing. So it's not like oh one bag is 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 ten load and set you can use separately. Sadly, that's not the case. I also seem to remember, but I'm not entirely sure that there is a red bippy here somewhere, and we will need to catch it uh, because we will never come back here ever again. So we'll need to get that before we go on the ship. I actually don't know if you can never come back here. I just never did. You might be able to come back. Uh, actually, his bane does heals. Yep. Because as, as Ro explained, when we first arrived here on Democritus, the, um, the mistake works differently on friends and foes, so it, it basically does the opposite what it does to a foe. Bane wave, as far as I know, Bane just does damage, and therefore when you use it on a friend, it just heals. Fire slag sets people on fire and does it extinguishes. Uh, people that are on the fire, if you use it on your friends. So, Grumpos is basically our healer. It's pretty useful. Um, it, it means he's a healer, but he can still do a fair amount of damage output as well. Right. Didn't happen to... Hear any beepies here? No. Nothing. I'm not entirely sure if it was here that you can find one. I thought it was uh, certain somewhere outside. We'll see. got a really cool special skill, special battle skill, but uh, it requires a lot of charge, so we won't be able to use it until we're uh, in longer battles.
Helicopter man for the winning there. All right. Let's see what's here. Maybe there's something we can grab. Ooh. Nothing here. Nothing here. Ah. Is that a shield cell? It is. It's better than our current one. Oh, okay. Yeah, it does. This number changes. So, a current shield is 16, and this one will be 32. So, it's actually quite a bit better. Let's make sure everybody else has got Pell needs a better one. I know he's not with us, but I might as well give it now before I forget. It's super handy that you've got a shared inventory no matter where your companions are. Maybe a bit game-breaking, but I prefer it to the alternative. Aha! I hear that. There it is. Oh. <laughs> Why did I take my picture there? Okay. So we've got three bippies we need to hand in. The one from Sender Station and two from Democritus. Cool. It's floating happily in space. Singing its little working song. Oh. Ah, more fights. Stupid move. Oh, can you still hit it? I thought it was straight all the way. Awesome. Regular heal grease or a heal grease plus? Plus, good. Let's see.
there it is beautiful first time I played through this I really didn't like the hive but it's not so bad 